Now to a topic that has caused a controversy debate across the internet. When is it and if it's okay to discipline someone else's child? Let's take a look at this. Jerome, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Jerome. Oh, yeah. You don't treat a lady that way. Say sorry. Say sorry. Now, the man seen in that video, you're looking at him right here, 55-year-old Lucas Kalisher, who is now facing felony assault charges for throwing that 15-year-old boy on the floor in Loveland, Colorado. According to cops, this all happened because a teenager accidentally threw water on Kalisher's wife. We have with us here fathers Jay Bradley and Patrick Jones to talk about this. So your thoughts about this and when they say you're disciplining someone, that wasn't disciplining. That was like someone that you was about to kick their ass okay. and you did. You carried out. That's just my thought, but I want to hear from you guys. I mean, man, he's got 30 years on the kid and however many hundred, you know, maybe and 100 big as pounds. Hell. And yeah, he, he's been in the gym and he's 55, so I'm going to be honest with you. If that's my son, you're going to see me later. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. But you don't have the right to discipline somebody else's kids unless it's old school where you're, you know, okay, well, your neighbor going to whip your butt because your mama gave him permission and then when mama gets home, she'll deal with it. This is not that, man. That was assault. Um, and it was dangerous. It wasn't even needed. Like, the kid didn't do anything aggressive towards him. If, the, if somebody accidentally spilled some water, okay, make him apologize. I hear that from what I read. You know, the kid was actually going to apologize. He yanked him towards and then threw him back. Um, and the kid wasn't really resistant, man. It was just absolutely unneeded, and I hope that he gets the uh, punishment deserved. I understand he's in jail. And he's got a pretty decent-sized bond, um, but we'll see what happens after it. All right, Patrick Jones, your thought as a parent watching this? I completely agree. Um, at no point in time was the 15-year-old kid an imminent threat at all. The kid was out there with his friends, and, and yeah, he was a bit unruly, threw some water, splashed, got on the guy's wife. But at the end of the day, that doesn't warrant you putting your hands, choking the kid first and foremost, and then slamming him. He's lucky the kid didn't hit his head, and it was a bigger yeah. issue, right? So absolutely, he deserves every felony charge that you can throw at him. He deserves the book. Because again, as Jay said, it's different if it's you're growing up in a neighborhood and the next door neighbor can discipline because mom and dad said, hey, if little Johnny gets out of line, then go ahead and discipline him. But that's not the case. And Jay, that is about <clears throat> caring about a kid. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this was about caring about the kid. This was about getting even yeah. for accidentally, yeah. accidentally splashing water or throwing water on his wife. This guy looks like he has some aggression issues, man. Um, I think this is a bigger issue than the kid. Sometimes when people are just unhappy in life, it takes that one small thing to ignite them and kind of send them over the edge. I can't imagine how in, in a clear mind that he would think that this was a threat to his wife. I get it being respectful of women. Um, hey, man, can you apologize to my wife? That wasn't cool, and I would rather it just be that simple. Um, but he just escalated to a point that it doesn't need. And I would love to hear. I haven't seen any of the interviews from his parents, um, but that would be something that I'd love to hear and see how his parents um, dealt with it. You know, absolutely. And, of course, Patrick, we're talking about this being accidental. Mm -hmm. and, and that's according to the narration of the story. Sure. Where we're not talking about a kid who went up and threw water in a woman's face or on her, we're talking about an accident. Exactly, exactly. It is an accident, and uh, it, it doesn't warrant the force that the guy used. And as Jay said, I mean, the guy clearly has anger issues. And if he, if he <coughs> was hot, if he was mad, all he had to do is raise his voice and say sorry. You know, you don't have to touch the kid. Um, so it's, it's unwarranted, it's unnecessary, and it should have never happened. All right, and when we talk about a village raising a child, yeah. and this was not it, yeah. and of course it was caught on social media, what do you think that kid has to go through now? Uh, you know, that's the when he gets back to school. And, yeah. And 
And school's just starting, man. Yeah. School's just starting, so who wants to be a trending topic on the first day of school? I would much rather a kid be worried about, you know, how fresh his clothes are going to be on the first day rather than, than this type of thing. So um, he's going to have some issues that he's going to have to deal with throughout, hopefully with the school counseling and kind of getting that part squared away. Um, and, and who knows how this affects him longer down the road. But just, just I think as adults, we need to be a little bit more... <clears throat> understanding of kids and we were all a kid at one point and sometimes man kids do get out of line but i always kind of put oh, myself yeah. back to okay you know i've been that little dumb kid mm -hmm. okay let me give him give him a pass real quick and the wife didn't step up i you know who i thought about i thought about will smith and his wife mm -hmm. that whole thing started over whatever their relationship is so my assumption is that there's probably a relationship dynamic right where he's trying to make up for some stuff or whatever the case is be. Yeah. Sure. Exactly. Sure. Because I, as a man, I've been married and I would never do that that way. Yes, I'm going to defend my wife, but there it's a kid. And you saw the kid. He let himself be. He didn't resist the guy when the guy dragged him over to the table and was able to throw him back. Right. And his no, what kind of friends does he have? His friends just sat there and watched they, it. Because they were in awe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What infuriates me is cyberbullying because rest assured, He's on national news right now. We're right. talking about him right now at 10:30 at and night. And while we don't know his name, his Everyone classmates else, absolutely, they absolutely and know who cyber he is. And cyberbullying is a real <clears throat> thing. And so now there's going to be a lot of uh, backlash as it relates to cyberbullying, and we don't know where that's going to go. So as soon as he walks through the door, he has to kind of walk through the door with his head down because he's going to get it from every angle. That's true. All right. We want to thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor on Censored.